blessings to you all. Thank you so much, Mr. Kumbasha and Mom, for inviting me to stand and share a few thoughts. I want to just say a huge thank you to my big sis, um, Pastor Sandra, and her husband, Jamie, for letting me know about this event. I came here this morning, and I've been thoroughly blessed. It's a great event, a bit great network that you have. And I was just saying, we need this in England. We need kingdom entrepreneurs to rise. We need kingdom entrepreneurs to rise in the nation. This is gold dust, and it's not available everywhere you go. My role, or one of my places that God has um, given me to do in the marketplace is I teach on finances. I'm a financial advisor. And um, over the years, over maybe 18 years, as I was working in the banks, advising clients, um, I just really started getting disturbed and thinking, gosh, why is it that you know the people who are coming in and have loads of money to invest and are saying, yeah, we want to do this and we want to do that, are not actually the church. Mm -hmm. You know, I would go to church on a Sunday and we would be hallelujah, praise Lord, halabashakatelemaha. You would feel like you're about to fly. But then you would come back oh. and realize that, man, mm. we had the CCJs, we had the defaults. I don't know if you know, if you have those yet, I don't know what you call them, mm. but bad credit. Yeah. Yeah. Our money was running funny. Wow. And, uh, and I just couldn't stay in that position anymore. I would find myself trying to share the gospel whilst working in someone else's company. Mm. And it was God saying, come on, get out there. Mm. Go and do something. Go and start up something. There you can empower, where you can teach, where you can use the little bits that I've put inside of you and I will continue to reveal to you to set my people free. And so I'm just going to share a few little points. Um, about a book that I wrote called Building a Healthy Relationship with Money and Making It Work for You. Mm -hmm. It's a little nugget book, but how many of us are in business not to make a profit? <laughs> we all want to see the money at the end, yes, isn't it? that's right. It's all, you know, the mm -hmm. dollar bills have got to come in mm -hmm. for us to keep on it, to keep working on it, to keep yeah. being encouraged. If you are going to give up sleep, we heard earlier about working hard, about being relentless, about being focused and determined, it's hard work to do that. But if there's no returns, if there's no results, if there's no fruitfulness in what we're doing, we get discouraged, don't we? And so in this book, I realized that actually one of the issues with our issues of lack of growth when we are in business, in our families, wherever it is, is actually our relationship with money. Say my, I need to look at my relationship with money. Because it's all about relationships. Yeah. It's all about relationships. We have a relationship with Jesus, and that's, that's right. why we're in this wonderful family. Yes. You have a relationship with your wife. Mm. You have a relationship with your partners and everybody in here, and that's why this thing works. So the reason that the money is not doing, it literally is a tool to facilitate the visions, the dreams, the ideas, the things that God has put on our heart to do, to make an impact, to fulfill purpose, to leave legacy. And many of us have a one night stand type of relationship with money. Does anybody know what a one night stand is or are you too holy for that? <laughs> the money comes in and you see something really good and you think, Make a little profit, mm -hmm. that money, zoom, is gone. Mm -hmm. The next morning it's remorse, it's like, oh my gosh, what have I done? Mm -hmm. That relationship has got to go. Mm -hmm. In the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. yeah. There's a long-standing, seemingly genuine, yeah. but deceptive relationship. I call it the Judas Iscariot type of relationship. Oh. Where you are sort of moving good and things are looking good and my business is doing well. But all it takes is one deceptive kiss from someone. Mm. And that money that you've been building up is gone. How many of you have been swindled of huge sums of money based on a deal that looked lucrative? And the greedy side of you thought, yeah, 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 this is it. And now you're saying, Lord, but how? How did you abandon me? What happened here? Have a look at that relationship.
There's a cheating, lying, deceptive relationship. How many of you have ever been cheated on here? Doesn't feel nice. Mm -hmm. Money is a tool that goes forth to do things and facilitate things in the marketplace. Hey, caution, so you'll have to forgive me. I'm one of those women who can just flow. So pick up the English that you can pick up and hear yeah. when I start to do that. But the ultimate relationship we want is a fruitful, faithful, productive relationship where we take dominion and we begin to see that money multiply, we begin to see things grow, we begin to see it do the assignments that it was sent to do. Okay, okay, tonight, you know, <laughs> it's all good about these relationships. How did I pick these up? There are a lot of learned traits based on where you live the people that you are around, the society that you live in, they have certain beliefs about money that you have learned naturally growing up. But when you come into the family of God, all that is nullified and made void. And you have a God who says, go, multiply, take dominion, yes. fruit and multiply. That's one of the assignments. Generational traits. Daddy never had any money, and so I don't have any money, and granddad mm. always spent time at the Shabin. You saw that, you did that. Those generational traits, when you're now in Christ, you are a new creation. The old has gone, the new has come. You can step out of that and choose to walk with the one who said, you know what? That defeat a cocoa, the devil comes to steal, kill, and destroy, but I came that you have life and have it in abundance. Associational traits. Mike Murdoch says, show me your friends and I'll show you your destiny. I'm so glad to see a lot of you here amongst like-minded people. People who are talking strategies, people who are talking ideas, people who are talking, yes, we can. Yes, we can. Nothing is impossible with our God. And so, I just want to leave you with that and say, you know what? Have a look. When you get home tonight, think about your relationship with money. Many of us know how to make money. We've made loads of money. A lot of money has come through our hands. But what we did with it, we didn't know how to invest it. Mm -hmm. We didn't know how to protect it. Mm -hmm. We didn't know how to, you know, pass it on to the next generation wisely. How many of you in here have been swindled out of an inheritance? Mm -hmm. A will has not been put in place to leave a legacy mm -hmm. and specifications of what you want to see in the next generation. Right, yeah. We have a will and living testament with the word of God. As you are going about your business, make sure you leave clear directions for the next people to come and follow. Your ability to relate to money will shift how your 2019 is going to be. It will allow you to prioritize the areas that need prioritizing and then cut back where it's not going to come back with a return. God is looking for a profitable generation. A generation that will bring back a return. So that's all I have to say today. Thank you so much for this opportunity. Oh, thank you. Come on, let's say thank you to Tim